Hello. And we're back again. Um, it's basically doubling the amount of, of episodes of this vlog um, in one night. Um, I should have adjusted my head before I started. This is this is what I look like. It's crap. I have big fat neck. Anyway, yes. Hmm. So, um, yes, had another question from Lil Fix or Holly, as she's better known to me. Uh, she's my best mate. Hello, Holly. Um, saying I should do a blog about Doctor Who. Thanks. That wasn't too vague. And then more specifically about my favourite Doctor Who. Um, which my favourite Doctor Who. I can't believe I just said that. It kill me that my favourite Doctor, of course, because the show is called Doctor Who and the character is called the Doctor, and I regularly get annoyed with people for making the exact same mistake I just made. But never mind. Hmm. Um, so my favourite Doctor. Well, I, I should say my my Doctor, as everyone says, their Doctor is generally the first Doctor. Um, that they encountered, that they watched, was really um, five, Peter Davison. Um, I have vague memories of four um, when I was very little. Um, I must have seen some four because I remember K9. Um, but really, really, it was was five was my first Doctor and I had some, again, some kind of strange memories of five. I mean, I remember, I do remember the episode um, where four died or regenerated um, with the watcher um, and finding that quite scary at the time um, and I remember the Mara and and all sorts of things and, and I certainly remember Nissa um, being a young lad at the time and this pretty curly haired brunette um, yes I remember Nissa and, and then Perry came along and had a habit of wearing a bikini on the show, um, which, uh, again, being a small boy, that was, uh, I mean, at, at the time it was, what, Perry and, and the dancers on the Kenny Everett show? Um, that was the thrill you got when you were a young lad in my day. Um, and I remember loving Five. I thought Five was absolutely wonderful. And recently I've gone back and watched, rewatched all of Five from the beginning to end. In fact, I've watched everything from the beginning of four through to the most recent episodes. Um, and five stories are terrible. They are really spectacularly bad. And um, the writing is... I mean, he's brilliant. Peter Davidson is wonderful. Um, but some of the writing is terrible. It's so slow. So slow. Um, really, really, really slow. And it's interesting to talk about the character arc and and how he changes after the death of Adric and how it gets progressively darker and uh, it's fascinating um, but to actually watch it's um, quite painful in places um, I know the the effects for the Mara I think have been redone for a recent DVD release which would be interesting to see because it is just a big cardboard snake in in the original version and is not in any way scary. It was scary when I was a small lad. It's really not scary now. Um, so five was, for a long time, I maintained that five was my favourite, and I didn't like six when he came along at all, um, because I was used to five, and five was happy and jolly and you know quite positive. And six came along and started strangling Perry and being very dark. Although that said, I did I did like the concept. I remember at the time, liking the concept that the Doctor would get progressively darker and perhaps more evil with each regeneration, um, and that led to me personally speculating that the Master, in fact, was the Doctor. That the, the Doctor would end up would would become darker and and more evil with each regeneration until he became this this man obsessed with power and with clinging on to life. Which is an interesting idea, but clearly, clearly wrong now. But never mind. Um, so that was... Um, five was my favourite. Six came along, I didn't like him at the time. I enjoyed Seven. Um, I enjoyed Seven because I loved the idea, the suggestions that, 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 that he was Merlin and stuff like that. The, the weaving the mythology of, of the Doctor into the past 
mythology of the earth and, and, and certainly Britain. Um, that was that was interesting. Um, I didn't like apes at the time, which is strange. Because now, going back to what we watch, it, Six is fantastic. Six is amazing. Colin Baker is just fantastic as the Doctor. Engaging. Um, it's well written during that time, generally. Um, certainly, uh, Perry is great. They have a great dynamic together. It's fascinating to see the way she stays with him, despite the fact he's he's damaged, deeply damaged by the the regeneration. Um, and and I like Ace now. She's great. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and then eight again at the time when that that was I was just so disappointed having waited so long for more Doctor Who and there was this thing that wasn't very good um, and I think what made it worse was that McGann had such potential to be great and he wasn't allowed to be in that um, and now listening to, to the, the audio dramas with him in it. You can see that he's fantastic. He's fantastic. The man was born to be the Doctor and I want to see him in New Who so much. That would be so good. Um, and then we go on to, you know, 9 and 10 and, and I enjoyed 10 at the time. I have issues with 10 though. I don't... He was good. And Christopher Eccleston I didn't like when, when I first watched it really. I mean it was great because it was Doctor Who again but watching it back now he's a lot more enjoyable I think Eleven is brilliant I think Eleven is absolutely brilliant I haven't spoken about one, two or three have I? I don't I've never really liked three a lot of that's to do with the fact that, that it's John Pertwee and he was Wurzel Gummidge and when I was little um, that was a show about a scarecrow who could take his head off um, so I find John Pertwee quite terrifying um, I'm, I'm just about to embark on watching all the three and I suspect by the end of it I'll have a new found love for, for, for three um, but I don't know yet we'll see two I've barely seen any two two seems great but I've, I've hardly watched anything of his it's, it's difficult because a lot of what I have is fan reconstruction stuff and it's there's so much missing it's hard to watch two and one is interesting that's about as much as I can say about one. It's fascinating to watch the genesis of the show. It's fascinating to watch some of the early episodes and see how much of the mythology of Doctor Who is established within the first season. And they're still using that now in the show. Um, but I would say now my favourite Doctors, my favourite Doctors are Six. I love Six. And I really hope I get to meet Colin Baker sometime soon. Um, eight definitely um, and anyone who sees how I dress and have been dressing for the last couple of years will, will understand that 8 has a big has had a big influence on me um, and I, I'm really enjoying 11 I'm really enjoying 11 and, and I think he will become one of my firm favourites but it's hard to kind of comment on a Doctor while he's still going and I think often people's favourite Doctors tend to be the first Doctor they saw and the current Doctor, because everybody loves the show that it's on. Um, so that's that's my ramblings about Doctor Who and my favourite Doctors. Um, and um, who knows, maybe there'll be more tonight, more vlogs, who knows, um, because I'm just having fun with this. So, um, good night and Godspeed.